Hello everyone and welcome to episode number four of Product TV Talk. Today I'm guest of a special person here with me. He is a product cybersecurity expert for an innovative car manufacturer. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Mark Abene here with me. Thanks for having me. Fantastic. So let me ask you right off the bat the first question. As a cybersecurity expert, I bet you have a thousand things to do, you know, especially in a car manufacturer, which is a very challenging environment. A lot of security focus. How busy is your day? Oh, it's, it's incredibly busy. Uh, I have uh, meetings back to back uh, pretty much every day, all day. Uh, I have to actually find some work in between. Uh, some time in between to actually do the work that we talk about. And uh, I work with a pretty large team of engineers as well. Um, it's uh, it, it's a, a nonstop effort uh, year round. It's, uh, it's a lot different uh, working in automotive than say in a software company where there's a clearly defined schedule. You release software and uh, it's pretty much done. Um, in uh, the automotive, it's, it's much different. We're constantly uh, working towards uh, shipping vehicles, increasing the number of vehicles that we can ship uh, year over year. So there's a uh, never ending challenge. Am I right to say that in, in your case, security may mean also end user safety in the end? Yeah, if you mean like consumer driver safety, right. that plays, plays a very large role. Uh, the security department for product, in this case vehicles, uh, works hand in hand with the functional safety department, uh, which uh, there are a lot of rules that are becoming laws, uh, which did not exist in years past in the automotive industry, specifically around cybersecurity, uh, which are now becoming uh, almost as important as functional safety and how those things relate. How do you manage this large amount of overlapping meetings? I guess you have to do a lot of prioritization calls. It's, uh, it's very difficult. Um, my, my advice, uh, my expertise is in very high demand in my position. I work with lots of different engineering groups, lots of different projects. Uh, internally as well as uh, speaking with suppliers, uh, third-party manufacturers and so on, coordinating this volume of meetings can be very difficult. Um, there's times where I have to def uh, divide uh, one half of a meeting with the other half of another meeting. I have to notify uh, the people that organize the meeting that you know your meeting is double or triple booked with uh, with other meetings that I have, and that I can't be in three places or four places at once. So there's uh, sometimes I'll have to ask if we can reschedule, or or I'll ask in the case of overlap if we could defer uh, cybersecurity questions for either the latter half or the first half of the next meeting. So uh, I can be in two different meetings with the overlap, but it's uh, very difficult juggling. And uh, usually what happens is uh, people will look at my, uh, my schedule in the Outlook calendar and they'll see all the blocks that I have blocked out over the course of the week and they try to squeeze in meetings in between where they see there's empty space. Sometimes people just give up and they'll, they'll try to schedule something really early in the morning or during lunch or, or in the evening to try to work around the blocked out areas. But um, I probably have one of the more chaotic schedules uh, as far as meetings go, for sure. And I guess you, you're not happy when someone pops a meeting on your calendar at lunchtime. Definitely not. I will try to ask them always, could we not make this meeting at another time? Maybe, you know, if you give me a potential, uh, you know, time of day, I could see if maybe I can move something around. And, and uh, oftentimes it works out. 
But other times uh, we have uh, supplier meetings. The suppliers might be in another country. They might be in China or Korea uh, and you know, on the other side of the world. And we'll try to have the meeting at the very end of the day here, maybe six or seven o'clock or later to try to catch them first thing in the morning. So there's uh, complications just because of uh, the global market. Nice. How do you prioritize what meeting to f be more favorable towards respect to others that can fall behind a little bit? If I, if I think that it's something that could potentially be rescheduled, especially if it only has a small number of internal people, that has the highest chance of us moving it around. If it's a large meeting that has, you know, 10 or more of us, uh, where I work, plus, uh, say, suppliers overseas, then, you know, then we need, to, uh, we need to give that a higher priority because oftentimes they can't simply reschedule if they're overseas. So you're kind of prioritizing external communication versus internal that could be more adaptable. Yeah, that's, that's usually the first pass at trying to reschedule something, is that consideration. Okay, Mark, we got to our signature moment. Now, everybody who's following us is wondering what is your productivity tip to share with us today? That's a, that's a good question. Um, I need to, in my work, I, I find that I, I oftentimes need to balance uh, meetings, which I have quite, quite a number of, with uh, actual engineering work, not only coordinating that work, but actually carrying out uh, a good deal of it myself. Um, in order to be most productive, uh, the trick obviously is to prioritize uh, what needs to get done uh, sooner than later. And that goes for meetings as well as uh, actual development work. And I find that the collaboration uh, across my team uh, and the teams that are uh, a part of the large engineering projects that we have going on, this collaboration is crucial in not only understanding my own schedule, but understanding the schedules of the other engineers so that we can together plan uh, the best course of action uh, for tackling problems. If I only looked at my own schedule and worried about when I had meetings and, and so on, I'm only really seeing half the picture. Having the access to other people's schedules, other engineers' schedules, uh, is crucial in us making the best use of time, uh, finding the best times of day in order to collaborate uh, and work towards uh, our goals. So I'd say that uh, that, that understanding of cross-team collaboration and scheduling is crucial to my productivity. Fantastic. So thank you very much. And I don't know, so everyone, me included, will pay more attention on everyone else in our teams and be more aware of what's going on so that we can, you know, coordinate the effort and maximize the collective fitness of, of our team. Now, Mark, thank you very much. It's been a pleasure being hosted by you. And, you know, guys, don't forget to subscribe. We're going to do more uh, of these interviews and learn more productivity tips from our guests. Thank you, Mark. Thank you.